What's up everybody, welcome back to GeForce Garage. My name is Dwight, and the last that we saw of Derek Magnuson of Senpai Studios, he was helping us create our GTX 1080 Ti powered MBX build. But recently, he has finished a labor of love that has taken him a year and a half to make a steampunk themed workstation featuring four, yes, four Titan XPs and enough copper to repipe a house. So let's go check it out. What's up guys, it's Derek from Senpai Studios and today is a glorious day. Today I finally finished my mod called Verktoy CU, which is a copper work tool roughly in Norwegian. My goal for this mod has been pretty much the same throughout the entire process. I wanted to show that you can have a really amazing workstation PC that has all the bells and whistles but can also look cool. It doesn't have to be in a black box or in a server rack. In terms of hardware, I've got the ASUS workstation motherboard on here, I've got two Intel 12 core CPUs, I've got 120 gigabytes of Kingston RAM, four Intel 1.2 terabyte NVMe drives, and I have four NVIDIA GTX Titan XP graphic cards for the ultimate performance. I've always wanted to do a steampunk build, but I've just never really had the opportunity to do that until now. The mod was originally inspired by a guy named Ian Finchfield who does custom armor on Etsy. I really like the aesthetic he did with brass and leather, so that's what I wanted to go with for the externals on this mod. In terms of other customizations, I've hidden the cables in uh, copper pipes because if you have four GPUs, there's a lot of cables. The other cables have been sleeved by my buddy Joe, who also is part of Senpai. Pretty much painted or sanded every single fitting at this point, which is around 200 pieces. The windows are custom engraved by V1 Tech. I have custom case feet from Bill Owen. I cut the DVI brackets on three of the GPUs in order to make room for the SSDs. I've used such a large variety of materials. I've used brass, leather, copper, four different sizes of copper pipe, brass fittings that aren't really meant for this type of stuff copper sheets, copper leaf, copper mesh, everything. It's so much copper. <laughs> the liquid cooling features mostly copper pipe with some PETG in there for aesthetics. Down below, it's actually soft tube for maintenance. Speaking of maintenance, I also hidden four quick disconnects throughout the build in order to make it much easier for future disassembly or whatever. I can actually take off this whole top piece that has all liquid cooling built into it. And I can also take out the top radiators, which is really important because you can't really get at anything due to the way the case is laid out without removing it. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this. I'm really glad that this build is done and I can't wait to start using it. Well, Derek, you did an awesome job. I love all the copper. The thing looks super heavy, so I understand why you didn't bring it here for us to see. If you guys want to see more rig spotlights like this, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one.